Hi, my name is Ben Welsh, and I'm here at the Los Angeles Times. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the PIP Package Manager for the Python programming language on a Mac OS X computer. PIP is a tool in the Python programming language that helps you install other Python tools. So it's essential to taking advantage of the hundreds or thousands of open source Python libraries available online. Here's how to make sure you have it. Start by taking your mouse and moving to the upper right hand corner. There, click on the magnifying glass. You'll want to type in terminal to bring up your command prompt. It'll take a second and it might look a little different than mine, but it'll be there soon. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is check whether pip is already installed. It is installed on many OS X computers, but we can never be sure, so let's check first, all right? You're going to type in three characters, P-I-P, for pip, a space, two dashes, and the word version. This will ask your computer to print out the version of pip that's currently installed. Then hit enter. Oops, looks like the command has not been found here on my computer. That means I don't have pip, and I need to keep working to get it, get it there. Now, if your computer prints out a version number after the, after the, the word pip, that means you do have it and you're okay, and you can just move on. You're done with this video. But if, like me, you still need PIP, we're going to continue. Now, there's an older piece of software called Easy Install that preceded PIP and isn't used as much anymore. It is almost always pre-installed on an Apple computer. And so we're going to use Easy Install to install PIP. All right? But to do that, we're going to need to insert it into the protected system folders of your computer. And so we're going to need to use your login password that allows you the credentials to do so. The way to do that on the terminal in the command line is to begin your command with a special command called sudo or sudo, S-U-D-O, which is going to give you the permissions to access those folders. So we're going to type S-U-D-O space easy underscore install, which is this other program, another space, and then the name of the program we want to install, which is pip. So again, sudo space easy underscore install space pip. You may be prompted for your system password. If you are, just type it in and press enter. Then you'll see, using your internet connection, easy install will go to the web and just like on my computer, download pip and install it. All right, now our last step is just to make sure that pip is working. To do that, we're going to go back to where we started and we're going to type a simple command pip space dash dash version, the same thing, asking the computer what version of pip is available. And this time you can see my computer com comes back and says pip version 9.0.1 is ready to go and I'm all set. Hopefully you are too. 